Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are uh, playing the Multifloor International Airport and things are going along nicely. In the last episode, we um, did the baggage handling system over here downstairs in the basement. There you go. And it's working well. Um, I know we had some issues in the end, but the, a quick restart um, made this thing work quite well again so it was only a restart required and now everything is working well um we've got this carousel over here and it's really um it's it's, it's operating well i've got a quick pro tip for you um when you are doing that if you don't want the people to actually stand on top of it just zone this as um staff zone you know this entire area just zone the area that you don't want them to stand on a staff zone. They can still pick up their stuff as they go. So there's a quick pro tip for you. Um, I've also added another little restaurant and shop over here. It's called a cafe, right? A cafe and a shop over here. And people are loving it. There is plenty of seating being used over here. People waiting for their chance to check in. And as you see, as these people come and man the stations, the service, the passenger service people come and man the stations, everybody rushes to do the check-in and that's pretty good and then they rush into the uh, security area over here with the two over here and these process it pretty quickly i think we accommodate easily accommodate about 400 passengers um, in the airport at any given time and i do think um i do think that it is um uh that it is about the capacity of what we can do. We've got a pretty full schedule every day. So that was today. Tomorrow, again, a pretty full schedule. So we can probably start looking at seeing an additional gate. But I also want to do, and we're making pretty decent money. If I look at the money over here, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're doing pretty decent on most hours. And then an average hourly, um, average daily of about 8,000 um, is keeping us afloat quite nicely. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to come to procurement. I'm going to have a look at what, what's next for us. So we've got 50k on this and 50k on that. So I'll just unlock both of these. Conveyor belt and generic baggage scanner. We'll do that. And we'll have a quick look, see what um, what effectively is um, unlock generic baggage scanner technology. Apparently, that is what is required. So, unlock generic baggage scanner, build a generic conveyor belt scanner, build a baggage destroyer, and scan 50 bags. So that's obviously quite easy for us to do. So we will um, jump straight into that as well. Um, I'm also keen for us to start unlocking some of these new services such as these de-icing and, and, and things like that, de-icing and um, catering and all of that. But I have tested around a little bit of that. That takes up a lot of space, a lot of space. So I do want um, us to be able to build a bit of a better airport to do that. Or, uh, you know, at least expand a bit, not build a better airport, but just expand this airport a little bit to be able to do so. In the meantime, I uh, am keen on placing another one of these. What's going on upstairs? Oh, actually, I'll have to trim it back a little bit like so. So, first things first, let's see about... Oops, downstairs. Let's see about getting rid of all of this. Um, so, come on, guys, get rid of all of that quickly. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll immediately build, um, ooh, well, he still managed to sneak out of there. Get rid of those. Perfect. So with that out of the way, we will immediately do our, um, another bit of a medium stand over here. Wow. That's a bit, uh, a bit creepy. Uh, it's, it's got the, the sky bridge straight over the top of the uh, tunnel down there. So again, keen to see if these things do feed in together quite nicely. Um, this area gets a little bit busy. And so every now and again, you see a little bit of congestion sorting, uh, doing its thing over here. This stand is probably not getting, getting people there. So we need this to be built up pretty quickly for us please do it oh that one's getting in there i'm not sure this one is getting up oh, oh it's working now it seems to be working now so hopefully we'll get everybody to do their thing 
I, I hired a, f a bit more staff as well. Uh, so next thing for us is upgrade this to add a jetway. What? Make sure you have a security checkpoint connection from the upper floor. Go, 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 upper floor. Security. Uh, maybe I didn't expand the security zone. Ah, I did not. Uh, let's fix that. Now we should be able to do the upgrade over here. My jetway. Thank you very much. I want to add some flooring. So get me my flooring up here as well. There we go. Just so we have that nice and clean we'll grab ourselves a little bit of a chicken desk not a chicken desk a boarding desk over here leave that is what we're after and then again i'm gonna go with some uh, large seating over here something like that one two uh, yeah, something like that, something like that. Okay, so we should then be able to open these guys up, and uh, then are not too near, near, not too distant future. But let's uh, expand our. Uh, we're on the wrong floor to do that, so let's expand our taxiway over there and get all of that up and running. So we, but the the issue is I don't think we have a lot of um, big planes though. So potentially we need to expand over here and get ourselves some more. Of these remote stands uh, again that would probably be set where maybe in here I don't know I don't know we could do maybe another four that's in here somewhere maybe that can work we'll see we'll see how that works out but I think it's pretty good now um, yeah so this airport is so busy it's getting really so busy I've also added an extra little stop over here um, I've got this. Oh, look at that. We've got a bit of a belt loader parked in the uh, parking lot. Okay, so any vehicle can park over there. It's really busy. It's moving along nicely. Okay, today is pretty much full. T tomorrow is pretty much full. On Wednesday, it's full. So now let's uh, let's start scheduling a few things again. I'm kind of wondering whether we should start making our way towards um, automatic scheduling. That is something that we could do. We've got all the necessary um, specialty staff to do that. So uh, it's something that I, I will consider now. But I'm worried that they don't actually space them properly. I am a little worried that that uh, that happens. That happens. Okay, let's just uh, schedule all of these planes um, manually for now, and um, and then we'll and then I'll, I'll look into see if there's anything we can do. Wow, they just pop in so quickly. I can't I can't keep pace. I just can't keep pace with all of the action. So at least uh, so so yeah, maybe we we are. In, in need of some extra stands so that we can get through through the load quicker and the the interesting part of it is the fact that we don't even have all of the various airlines um, contracts with all of the airlines it's just a few well it's a fee it's like four or something just confirm that for me okay I'm, I'm in need of another few big ones over here so let's just slot that one in there and Stripe Air, I believe, sh should... Oh, what's going on? Stripe Air will also have a couple of big ones over here. So we'll slot one in there. And... Uh, is there a few more? Can we potentially squeeze in another? So we'll get all of them in there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's perfect. Now, we can also start looking at opening up that other one. But really, this one, the demand for this is not as high as the demand for the smaller stands. But it's all looking pretty good. Uh, we're still making D... Ooh, what's going on? That doesn't feel quite right to me. What cost us that much money? Did things get stuck somewhere? Okay. Oh, I did do some uh, baggage stuff. So let's uh, let's move on to that then okay over there and over there so now at least that is up and running um 
a pretty regular contributor on the comments has asked me nicely to name a, to name a, a stand after him and so PC1 is uh, going to be our ooh and yes PC1 is going to be this uh, medium stand over here so I've got the name in there not quite gonna open that up just yet um, I want us to go and look into the um, the scanners and the things like that so let's quickly see when we go to put the procurement tab did we manage to procure those yes we have in fact so now a generic baggy scanner A generic bag scanner okay so let's quickly have a look well, what are we doing here so there's a baggage destroyer and a generic bag scanner uh-huh uh -huh. it's gonna fit in there quite nicely actually nice that's actually gonna work really nicely over there so I need to get rid of like three of them over there please do so so we can get the bag scanner in there thank you you three guys I love the fact that uh, even if you make a change like that it can still work and um, the other thing I want to do is get the baggage destroyer uh, I'll just move it all the way over here somewhere something like that and then we'll get the little tray high speed nice um, okay so we just want some standard conveyors over there to tie into that nice so now we've got our uh, our bag scanner our first bag scanner system is going up in the uh, in here and I do let's if, if they do they what do they say here about the bag scanner can I just uh, can I what are they no I want to I want to see um, next oh scan 50 bags okay so we are scanning apparently we're scanning bags at a rapid pace here but I wanted to have a look at can I can I just open up what is the can I open up the full tutorial thing here they had a big screen here come on take away the checklist and then okay so it's only showing me that then wow look at all of this all of that go should have done that a long time ago okay now now we're no longer loading suspicious content onto aircraft and the authorities are satisfied you now have the possibility to experiment with tilt trays which are designed to divert baggage depending on its settings it can be used for constructing more complex conveyor belt systems where baggage can be routed between different baggage bays and baggage claims. So that's pretty cool. So now we've got our basic scanning going on over here. Next. Okay. So here it says construct a complex conveyor belt system. Build a tilt tray. Right click on the tilt tray to change its, its routing. And it does left and right to destination forward and left forward and right and none i can't really actually think of why you would do um anything other than to destination honestly i don't know i do not know so in order for us to really effectively make use of a tilt tray uh, i believe we will need to do a little bit of a complex a complex more more complex scanning system going on so if we go here and we say a specific bag scanner and baggage scanning station, that's an expensive one. So let's go for the specific bag scanners. Um, I've unlocked all of this. Oh, I wanted to do the standard scheduling or the automatic scheduling. Ooh, what are you people doing? Where? Hang on. Oh, you're upstairs. Oh, that's what's going on. Um, let's hide this for now. Thank you. Please hide that for me. Okay, come on over here and let's quickly have a look at the automatic scheduling. Oh, well, auto scheduling, please. Um, I'm tempted to go there again so that we get a little bit more of the medium flights to come in now that we've got even an extra space here. Let's quickly start by um, by linking all of this up. So I want to do that. And then I want to say, connect me to the baggage bay, please. So that's downstairs. Yes, connect you over there that's pretty cool what else do you need to connect to now everything else is now sorted out straight away 
no problems uh, well we've got this open over here let's see about getting some plants at least oh, maybe just a little something like that oh no that's not what I wanted to do I want to keep it a nice environment oh I wanted to put some windows in here yeah that's gonna be cool let's get some windows uh, I believe it's all the way over here some large windows something like that nice that's pretty cool awesome pretty awesome 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 some windows over there uh, we can actually probably squeeze another one over here that's cool and we can also do one over there so you guys can have a nice watch out over there that would be awesome uh, at the same time we'll also do some windows in here yeah nice and central cool awesome now we've got windows just about everywhere um, apart from this little section though shall we shall we do a couple of windows over there yeah that'll be cool that'll be good that'll be good I like it everything is working um, it is it is how many almost 400 passengers and things are going along nicely what's going on over here so you're closed so I'm not sure whether you you probably fulfilled your contract I didn't actually keep track of what was going on over here but yeah these are doing pretty well so probably fulfilling the contract pretty decently so there we go let's sign a cranes burgers over there and on this one is there something we can get Oh, we should have actually we need to hang on let's just have a look see if there's anything we can grab so should, ah here's the stuff hilltop cafe yeah we can do that of course any of the twos no none of the twos will want to work so we're just going to stick with the with the one stars over there nice so this airport is getting pretty busy but it is working well it is really working well so the, the trick with this, with most actual kind of tycoon type games like this is just don't overextend yourself too quickly. If you just keep, uh, if you just keep an airport like this running for a little while longer, things are typically um, pretty decent. How did we go on scheduling? See, now it started scheduling some weird stuff over here. Uh, maybe it's just because, because I'm not as advanced as scheduling across time slots. So yeah, we um, let's open this one up. So PC one stand is now going to open up. Thank you very much. And all of this works quite well over here. We can probably start spending our money a little bit more. Um, so let's. Uh, let's uh, let's get rid of this because i want to upgrade that with the uh with the big one i mean the 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 asphalt one not the big one the asphalt one yeah, So i've got the little tunnel going on underneath here which i think will help and we probably will do some more um more tunnel operations i also want to see about expanding into this direction maybe but Maybe the the first thing for us to do is to expand in in uh, just just in the area that we already have some stuff going on. That's the one, uh, like so. So please come and construct that one for me. Now back to two twenty seven passengers. I do wonder whether I can. Ah, oh, you know what? I should be able to. Ooh, what are we doing here? Um, handling the icing cleaning catering okay so all of this is already active all the stuff that we can have active is active passengers are happy general aviation say, says we suck and i don't quite know why that is but i wouldn't mind getting a little bit more stats okay let's see stats over here what can we have a look at um, passengers so we go up to about the 400 mark that's just generally uh actually can we do days so in the last few days Oh, 
Ah, there we go. Over the last few days, we've had no problems whatsoever in terms of in terms of this. So let's go to hours instead. Ah. So over the hours time frame, you can see we're busier in the mornings. And then uh, in the afternoons, a little bit less busy. And then in the evenings, quite quite not busy at all. Real-time update, no need. Um, do we have some weird stuff going on? Vehicles, anything like that? Is there something like an hour rate or something that we can do? No, none of that is either even looking at it. So if we look at the economy, we're making a decent amount of money. Our funds is growing slowly but steadily. But yeah, this it's up and down and up and down. But that's all pretty good. Um, number of planes. Can we go into hours and then uh, a little a little something like this to get us through the day? Yeah. So we've got a pretty constant amount of aircraft here we've got more departing uh, planes during the day than in the evening and then big arrivals well quite interesting okay so I am I am wondering uh, actually you know what I should do I should actually get rid of oops Get rid of that so that we can actually start building ah this is not the one the one i'm looking for is that one so that we can start building um more stands into this direction we could also start to expand a little bit in this direction as well maybe that is a good thing for us to be looking at no it's a little bit of a lag there so if we say something like that for instance uh, to be honest so how many bus stops so that's one bus stop we need ah we need eight I believe eight is the is the right is the right amount for us yeah then we can do two more stands somewhere okay so that can start doing that that's gonna give us a little bit more room over here for uh, we'll probably get these guys. Yeah, they'll just have to go around over there. And that'll give us room for one more big one up here as well. So that's a good good piece of planning, I think, there. So as we open all of this up, we'll extend the secure area there. We'll open up a new access point, probably another, um, another escalator on this side so people can get upstairs. But yeah, everything is going along nicely. Uh, is our yeah we're st stopped making money for some reason maybe it was just this piece of construction but that average daily is is a is a, is a little bit of an issue okay so that's cool uh, as soon as that's done we can change that up again Ooh, oh that's upstairs yeah so it does it does glitch out a little bit every now and again Let's see, anything scheduled on PC1? Yeah. So auto scheduling is in fact working. Getting a decent amount of flights in. Ooh, I kind of forgot because if I have a look at this now, I cannot expand, I can expand the terminal here, but I can't do it there, can't build on this floor. So yes, I will have to go downstairs and actually build this entire section here so that I can actually build on the top of it so please feel free to do that uh, build thing over there so see all of this is, is ticking along these are just check-in desks and I don't know they the game kind of wants you to have like one check-in desk per stand but really you don't need that many look at all of this time that this chicken desks are just not being used so I think that it works well by just having so how many do I have I've got it's like uh, five seven 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 small stands and three large stands and I only have one two three four five six check-in desks not chicken desks 
check-in desks. Yes, I'm saying that properly. Okay. Some flights coming in. Some flights are going. We're probably a little short on some of our vehicles as well. So let's quickly have a look at what the stats are saying in terms of these things. So I've got a few janitor jobs available that we're not picking up. That could be a glitch because we have a plenty of janitors and most of the time that's not an issue. So that could be some kind of a glitch. If we go into vehicles um, and avgas, I'm definitely not purchasing another avgas because we're scaling down the general aviation um, operation. Uh, but all the others seem to be fine and we've got more than enough. Uh, too much maybe. Too much maybe. But anyway, I'd rather have a little bit too much than a little bit too few. So all of this is working. It is really busy. We can almost start contemplating a metro, though a metro station is um, extremely pricey in terms of that hourly operation thing. So at least things are normalizing a little bit now in the cash side of things. But I think that is where I'm going to leave it for now. So we've got the um, the basic bag scanner going on over here. So no suspicious stuff is being loaded. Um, I needed to do the tilt tray, which we will probably get back. We'll do a little bit of a more complex setup in the next one. What I would, however, do is just before I leave, actually say we'll unlock the baggage scanning station also. Um, just so all of this is unlocked. And uh, yeah, that should be fine then. So we can do a pretty decent security setup in the next one um though i'm not i'm kind of wondering whether i should relocate the whole thing over here so that oh alternatively we can just we can just relocate uh we can just do another baggage bay over here instead so we'll do the scanning there and we'll relocate another baggage thing over here yeah that could work that could really work so we can have at least two because we want to do another carousel um, but at least with a tilt tray, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to feed one to one ratios or anything like that. Okay, pretty cool, guys. That uh, that is, schedule is heating up. Wow, it's really looking good. So we are really filling it in. So we should see decent amounts of monies everywhere. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. If you've been, if you're enjoying this episode and this series, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.